So ladies and gentlemen, all I asked you to do last class period was to graph piecewise functions. And the easiest way to kind of think of piecewise functions is again, you're graphing two separate you're graphing two separate functions together, but you have constraints. So the easiest way I like to, I gave you guys some um, I gave you guys some graph paper, and what I would do is use a pencil and graph both of the functions on their own for all x. So we have a lot of the parent functions already put up there. I'm going to have the rest of them that I took down that were right here. Um, I'll have those put back up. But again, let's just go and graph the identity x. Now, in your notes, you guys have an example of the identity function. There's also a, an example in your book. But if you're just going to graph the identity function, you know the y intercept is at 0, and you go up 1 over 1 or down 1 over 1. So then you have a nice line like this for all x. Correct? I'm just copying the identity function right there that you guys had in your notes. That's all I did. And I just graphed it for all x. Then we have x squared. Um, I'm just going to graph that for all x. That is a parabola. Again, that's presented right there just as x squared. So I just, I'm just going to graph that for all x. If you remember in algebra 2 when we were graphing using transformations, um, again, that one has an origin at 0. Then over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1. Over 2, up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And over 2, up 4. And remember, that was our U-shaped graph. Correct? So now what I did, yes? Um, so therefore, what I did is I just graphed both of them. I would recommend, guys, at this point in time, not, that's not what you want to be doing. Just look up here and just follow along. If you have questions, you can ask once I'm done, or ask me. Um, so when we're looking up here, you guys can see I graphed both of these functions. I literally just took these two functions and put them on top of each other, graphed them on the same set of axes. But I graphed them for all x values, right? All x values. What the piecewise function says is I want you to graph them but I only want you to graph this, va this graph for values of x that are less than or equal to 0. So here's the x-axis. Here's z 1, 2, 0, negative 1, negative 2. So for the values that are all less than or equal to 0, is only going to be from 0 over here. That means the rest of this line I am going to erase. I'm only graphing for the x values of that function that were less than 0. Then I go to x is greater than 0, or for the x squared. I only need to graph x squared for values of x that are greater than 0. So I see the x values are greater than 0 going over to the right. Now, that is greater than, and that one's less than or equal to. But since the, since the open circle is like inside, the, that one's covered. So therefore, it is just a total closed circle. But then. So that means all the values that are less than 0 of x squared are going to be eliminated. So therefore, that's what my graph looks like. It's a line less than 0, and then part of a parabola greater than 0. Yes? It would be an open circle, but this is a closed circle and an open circle. So therefore, the clo it shows up as a closed. Does that make sense? Anybody have any other questions on?